Is there a vaccine conspiracy going on? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. There's a lot of discussion these days about this, vaccines. Do you vaccinate your dog? Do you vaccinate your cat? And the biggest one of all these days, you get yourself vaccinated for COVID-19. The reason I'm bringing this up is there's so much heated discussion these days. Vaccines are all bad. Vaccines are all good. Like there is some happy medium here. In my opinion, you need to be looking at weighing the risks versus the benefits, doing a whole bunch of your own real valid research like you're reading on a whole array of different opinions, not just sort of one side or the other. And then thirdly, you're choosing to vaccinate your dog, your cat, yourself, in my opinion, for the diseases that one, are most preventable by vaccines, two, most likely to get you sick, and three, the vaccines that are actually gonna be effective and not cause any you know, serious secondary side effects. In veterinary medicine, we have given way too many vaccines too often to too many animals, for instance. I mean, it was seen initially as a great way to prevent serious infectious disease, aka canine December virus, canine parvovirus, rabies virus. Yet the pharmaceutical companies went on this giant binge to create multiple vaccines for multiple things. And then they encouraged veterinarians to send in a little letter in the mail Tools do for her vaccine booster, come on in, is a great way for veterinarians to then actually get clients to come into the clinic. So many veterinarians, myself included when I started, we were giving multiple vaccines every year to dogs. And that clearly was not in their best interest. We're making dogs sick. Much the same thing happened in our cats. Initially, we we're giving them vaccines for the most common preventable diseases by vaccination. Then the pharmaceutical companies got hold, created a whole array of different vaccines for things like FIP, et cetera, et cetera. Diseases that don't respond well to vaccines, but once again, became this great practice tool. You get the little card in the mail, come on back in. Murray here is due for his booster. But are all vaccines bad? No, they're not. And clearly there's a few specific diseases that are best prevented by vaccines. It's not a good idea for your young puppy to get canine parvovirus. I saw so many puppies die in veterinary practice because those pups weren't vaccinated. Likewise, cats getting feline panleukopenia, like very preventable by vaccines. And I saw cats die in veterinary practice, I have the same thing. Those vaccines, in my opinion, are safe so long as they're given you know, in minimal amounts when it is best effective to prevent the disease in your cat, your dog in the first place, and then they're far less likely to cause any serious long-term secondary side effects. For dogs, I recommend that your puppies are vaccinated eight weeks and 12 weeks with distemper virus, parvovirus. A year after that, you can do have a tighter test done to see if they have protective level of antibodies. They may never need another one of those vaccines. For the cats, we're looking at FVRCP. So they're getting feline viral endotracheitis, feline calice virus, feline panleukopenia at eight weeks and 12 weeks, rabies vaccine if needed at six months, you're following that up with titer tests in about a year. That may all that your cat is ever gonna need. So my message here is that some vaccines are good. Many vaccines, my opinion, are not that beneficial and are not necessarily needed. But the point here is that you're preventing the most common serious infectious disease with vaccines when your dog, your cat, your puppy, your kitten is most likely to get them. But you're not going over the top. You're not giving them multiple vaccines every year. Then let's just take this parallel to people. The COVID-19 vaccine. I've had two boosters. In my opinion, it is relatively safe. It's fairly effective minimal chance of serious secondary side effects and a great benefit. One for me personally, so I'm not getting COVID. Secondarily, for the population as a whole. And I'm not saying this because I'm reading all the drug company paraphernalia. As you know or may not know, I'm sort of one who tries to sort of work out of the box 
not been super popular with my veterinary college with some of my choices in veterinary medicine i'm one who advocates for you know you being able to have the option to naturally treat your dog naturally treat your cat at home not have to just go to the vet and get all the conventional medication but i still use it i mean i practice it for 20 years you know if your dog has a small tumor and you have the option to have surgery to remove that tumor i mean i suggest that you do that thanks you guys for watching today's rant i hope you're doing well i hope your dogs your cats are doing well questions or comments i'd love to hear your feedback i'll be talking to you again soon it's dr jones